Hello everyone, welcome to Simhadri Competitive Classes. Today we are going to discuss about number system. So last video, so what are the topics of arithmetic and reasoning we have seen. So from today onwards we will start the uh, topic wise co concept and problems. Okay. So today our concept is number system. First of all, what are the types of numbers are there? Okay. First one is whole numbers, natural numbers, even numbers, hard numbers, prime numbers, composite numbers, perfect numbers. So total seven types of numbers are there. Whole numbers. So whole number starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. And coming to the natural numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. And even numbers. Even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. So, even numbers can be multiplied with 2. Multiply with 2. And odd numbers. Odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on. Right. So, in that odd numbers cannot divide by 2, cannot divide by 2 and multiply with 1 time, multiply with 1 1s are 1, 3 1s are 3, 5 1s are 5, 7 1s are 7 like that. Those numbers we call as odd numbers. Prime numbers 2, 3, 5, 7 and so on. At least one number, one prime number having two multiples. So, like that, 1, 2 is at 2, 2, 1 is 2, 1, 3 is 3, 3, 1 is 3. Okay, so these are called prime numbers. Composite numbers. So, composite numbers are 4, 6, 8 and so on. In the top one is prime number. So, prime number having how many multiples? 2. But here compulsory 3 multiples. 3 multiples. Those are 1, 4, 0, 4, 2, 2, 0, 4, 4, 1, 0, 4. Like that, 1, 6, 0, 6, 2, 3, 0, 6, 3, 2, 0, 6, 6, 1, 0, 6. So, more than 3 are equal to 3. So, those numbers we call as composite numbers. And coming to the perfect numbers. So, perfect numbers compared to all the numbers, it is very different kind of numbers. Shall we take 6? For example, shall we take 6? So, what are the 6 factors? 1, 2, 3 and 6. Add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6. 6 plus 3 9, 9 plus 2 11, 11 plus 1 12. So, whenever we have considered any perfect number, that answer is equal to double. Answer is equal to double. So, that kind of numbers are coming under the perfect numbers. So, like that we have taken examples. Now, digits and numbers. So, what is the difference? So, digits is 0 to 9. Digits is 0 to 9. And numbers means 1, 2, 3 and so on. So, these are the numbers. These are the digits. Digits only 0 to 9. Okay. Right. So, next topic. Ascending order and descending order. So, everybody will confuse the ascending order and descending order. Today I will explain clearly ascending order and descending order. Coming to the example, take one example, 2, 7, 25, 9, 1, 0, 8, 0 and 5, 15. Ascending order means, look at A, A, B, C, so A to Z. 
So starting from the A to Z. So like that, whichever is the smallest number, we can take that one two, seven, nine, twenty-five, five one five, one zero, eight zero. So this is about ascending order. Coming to the descending order, example. Five, fifteen, three, thirty-five, thousand. So coming for these numbers, so how will we write? Take D. D means decrease. So highest number to highest number to lowest number. So this is lowest number to highest number. Now highest number is how much? Thousand, thirty-five, fifteen, five, three. So these are the ascending order and descending order. Next topic is integers. Very simple. We are going to identify integers. I think everybody has seen graph. Everybody has seen graph. In that, zero, one, two, three, four, five, and here minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, and minus five. See, all are integers. All are integers. Except zero. Zero is neutral. Either minus or plus. Okay. So all are integers. Okay. Next. Coming to the real numbers, it is classified into two types. One is rational numbers. Second one is irrational numbers. So coming to the rational numbers. So formula is p by q. But The condition is q is not equal to zero. Why? Because suppose three by zero. This is undefined. Undefined. So that's why three by zero is undefined. So three by one, three by two, and four by three. So like that, these are called as rational numbers. Now coming to the irra irra irrational numbers, root two, root three, root five. Here yeah, everybody having one doubt. Sir, why sir root four? Root four is equal to again two. So two by one. So this is like a p by q. Again root four is rational numbers. Okay. So like that you have to identify. It. Okay. Yeah. Next topic is decimals. In that topic, there are two types: terminating and non-terminating. In that terminating means very simple. Terminating whenever remainder, whenever remainder is zero. That means suppose five by two. Five by two. So once you can check it, two times four, one point zero five times. So two five is at ten. So remainder is zero. So this kind of numbers, this kind of numbers called terminating numbers. Next non-terminating. In this case, there are two types: recurring and non-recurring. In that recurring, repeating numbers. So repeating numbers means. Suppose one by three, so three one, so three one. It is not possible. So zero point means zero three times, three times nine one remainder one again three times zero nine again one zero three times. So like that, it is continuously repeating value. That is called continuously repeating values. So these type of numbers are called as repeating variable, repeating numbers. 
Next, non-recurring. So in that non-repeating numbers. So root two, root three, pi. Root two means one point seven, one point four one four, one point seven three two, three point one four. So these type of numbers are called as non-repeating numbers. Okay. In the number system, last topic, divisibility rules. This is very very important topic. So there are nine rules are there. Rule two, rule three, rule four, and so on. Rule ten. Rule eleven also there, but uh, that is not required. Till now, no question comes from the that uh, rule number eleven. Okay. So first rule number two. Rule number two. Suppose let us take. I will take one number. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Eight. This is a number. So whenever last numbers are zero comma two comma four comma six and so on, like that numbers are there. So eight also. The last digit is eight is there. So definitely divisible by two. Definitely divisible by this entire number divisible by two. So that is like this. Next, coming to the rule number three. Rule number three. Okay. In that rule number three, suppose we will take three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whenever numbers are like this, in the rule number three, what will you do? We can add the all the numbers. We can add the all the numbers. Three plus four seven, seven plus five twelve, twelve plus six eighteen, eighteen plus five, eighteen plus five, yeah, eighteen plus seven twenty five, twenty five plus eight thirty three. So thirty three is divisible by three. So this is also possible. So whenever divisible by three means whenever number is given, first of all add the all the numbers. Okay. Next rule number four. Rule number four. In that rule number four, suppose I have taken one more number: two, five, six, seven, eight, four. Two, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, four. So this is a number. So rule number four. So rule number four. Last two digits. You can observe that this is zero at place. Sorry, this is ones place. This is tens place. Whenever divisible by four, last two digits are divisible by four. So eighty-four, twenty-one times. So definitely enter this number divisible by four. Okay. Next rule number five. Rule number five. In that five, six, seven, eight, seven, zero. Again, seven, eight, four, five, six, five. You can observe this. Rule five. Divisible by either zero or five. The last numbers are either zero or five. So in the both the cases, zero is there, five also there. So both the number divisible by five. Both the number divisible by five. Okay. Yeah. Coming to the rule number six. Again, you can take numbers. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. So, whenever you are going to divisible by six, definitely either this number divisible by two, and also three. 
divisible by 2 and also 3. So, how it is? We will check it. Add the, all the numbers. 3 plus 4, 7 plus 5, 12 plus 6, 18 plus 7, 25, 25 plus 8, 33 plus 1, 34, 34 plus 2, 36. So, divisible by 3. Possible. 3 possible. Next, what about 2? I already told you in the rule 2. Whenever last digit 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So, definitely this entire number also divisible by 2. So, this number divisible by 6. Okay. Next. Rule 7. Rule 7. Let us take 856. Let us take 856. The last digit is 6. So, multiply by 2. What is the value? 12. Still here remaining 2 numbers are there. So, 85 minus 12, 73. This is not divisible by 7. So, this is wrong. Take 966. 966. Again multiply by 2, 12. So, 96 minus 12, 84. So, 84 can be divisible by 7. So, entire number also divisible by 7. So, you can cross check. These are the simple tricks. These are the simple tricks. So, you have to keep in your mind. Okay. Next, rule number 8, 7, 6, 8, 4, 8, 8, 8. In this case, 1's place, 10's place, 100's place. In this number, 1's place, 10's place, 100 place. So, compulsory these 3 numbers divisible by 8. Then only entire number divisible by 8. So, previously rule number 4, divisible by last 1's place and 10's place. Now, coming to the rule number 8, last 3 digits, 1's place, 10's place, 100 place. These 3 numbers divisible by 8, then only entire number is 8. Next, rule number 9. Rule number 9. Take same number 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3. 1 plus same rule number 3, rule number 6, rule number 9 also as this. Rule number 6 out of 3, uh, 3 and 9 compared only 2 as well as 3. Divisible by 2 as well as 3. Rule number 6. But rule number 9. Rule, and, rule number 9 and rule number 3 is same. Add everything. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 3, 6. Plus 4, 10. 10 plus 5, 15. 15 plus 6, 21. 21 plus 7, 28. 28 plus 8, 36. So, 36 by 9 is 4 times. So, entire number divisible by 9. Next last. Rule number 10. Rule number 10. 6, 7, 8, 4, 8, 0. 8, 4, 7, 6, 9, 5. So, this one also as it is like, sorry. This one means only last digit is 0. Then only it is Possible to divisible by 10. Last digit is always 0. Always 0. Then only it is divisible by. Yeah. Today's class, we have covered numbers, real numbers, integers, ascending order, descending order, decimals, and the divisibility rules. So, this is the cons these are the concepts of number system. Okay. So, thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and share the video to your friends, colleagues and family members. Thank you.